Another question that was asked in JAM Economics paper of 2021 was You have a budget of 4000 and would like to purchase LPG cylinders from a local seller who charges rupees 50 per cylinder. Okay, uh, the seller has a subsidy scheme of which, if you return the empty cylinder purchased from him, you will get a refund of rupees. 20 per cylinder you cannot borrow money from anyone the maximum number of cylinders you can purchase is the options are 131 132 133 and 134 so we will see what is the correct option so total budget is given as so total budget is given as total budget is given as 4000 so i will write here 4000 now when the consumer goes first time to the seller first uh, cylinder will cost him 50 rupees okay so after purchasing the first cylinder budget left would be equal to 3950 okay 4000 minus 50 is equal to 3950 okay when the seller goes next time to the local uh, sorry when the consumer goes next time to the local seller uh, he will brought with him the empty cylinder so second cylinder will cost him 50 minus the subsidy given for the empty cylinder which is 20 okay so the second uh, cylinder will cost the consumer only rupees 30 and subsequently all other cylinders will cost him 30 rupees okay now um, so i will first uh, rub this here first uh, so i will rub here so first uh, cylinder cost is 50 budget left is 3950 okay now subsequent uh, cylinders cost only 30 because of the subsidy scheme provided by the local seller that is 50 minus uh, the subsidy of 20 which is equal to 30 so all other subsequent cylinders will cost him 30 rupees so budget left is 3950 so 3950 is the budget left out and each cylinder costs him 30 so we will divide the total budget by 30 so this is 30 ones are 30 here we have 9 here it is 5 now 33 is are 90 so we have here 5 this 0 will go down and we have 30 ones are 30 and we are left with 21 so here we have 21 21 is remainder so we can see uh, first cost to him 50 rupees and budget was left 3950 and the rest of the cylinders cost him 30 rupees and the total number of cylinders that can be brought after the first one is 131 uh, plus the first cylinder which cost him 50 rupees so total number of uh, cylinders that can be purchased would be equal to 132 and he will be left uh, out with only 21 which is the remainder here since we cannot buy in this case the part of the cylinder or a fraction of cylinder so maximum possible uh, cylinders that can be brought with rupees 4000 would be 131 131 is the subsidy uh, using the subsidy rule here which is 50 minus 20 and this one is the cylinder brought first time which cost him 50 so maximum cylinders that can be brought would be equal to 132 and the um, consumer would be left out with 21 rupees so 21 uh, will not give him any cylinder because the minimum uh, minimum amount that uh, that can be 
used for purchasing a subsidized cylinder is 30 so the consumer would be left out with this 21 rupees and to maximum amount or rather maximum number of cylinders that can be purchased using this subsidy rule is 132 i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you